When asked how it all started, I always tell that it all began that day when we went to Botanical Gardens. We, meaning yours truly, and two of my friends. Whose idea was it to visit the abandoned station? Who persuaded the others to go? I always tell them that I don't remember. I always lie. It is a safe lie. Or there is no way to ascertain the truth. Both Vitaly and Eugene are dead now. The massive airlock doors shrugged and opened with a grinding sound. Opening a road to hell for us and a road into the metro for the demons. But in fact it all started that day when mother said we should take a walk in the botanical gardens and go there by metro. I remember how we took a short escalator to the surface, how we exited a spacious glass pavilion and saw a street buried in green. I remember the small clouds moving across the limitless sky and soft, cool wind on my face. Mother bought me an ice cream. That was the last time I tasted it. That day humanity was executed. The righteous and the sinful were called to be rendered according to their deeds. And we hid from God's sight in the metro. And we were saved from his wrath. And he apparently decided that flushing us out wasn't worth the trouble. Then he went about his business or perhaps died. While we stayed on this used up and discarded earth and continued just going with it. Going nowhere. I remember so many random, unnecessary things, yet I don't remember the most important one. My mother's face. She died very soon after the war started. All that remains of her is that day in the gardens. How I wished I could recall her face. The way she looked at me. The way she whispered that I have nothing to fear sell my soul just to recall that. I'd do that any day, any time. And I did. The Dark Ones came much later, from the garden's direction. The Dark Ones, huge, towering a full head over the highest man. Nightmarish creatures, creepy as a man turned inside out. Monsters born to destroy us. The word was they were incredibly strong and unnaturally evil that with bare paws they could tear armed men apart. Hm. That's all lies. <laughs> Truth is even scarier. Well, I used to live nearby. Before the war, I mean, uh, up there. I was on the train when it happened. I tried calling my family, but couldn't get through. What the? What happened? Shit!
Wake up, Artyom. It's me, Khan. Nightmares, eh? No wonder, after all you've been through. Listen, I have incredible news. A couple of days ago, I was near the ruins of the Dark One's hive. And I saw one of them, still alive. I immediately set out to find you, as you were the one they tried to contact. Before you launched the missile strike against them. Khan! How the hell did you get here? Get out! Now! Yes, Ullman, one moment. If a Dark One has survived, it is vital that you try to speak with it, Artyom. I realize that, as one of the Order now, you report to Miller. But we must persuade him to allow this mission. Khan, I told you to get out! This is a classified base. You shouldn't even be here. I'll take you to Colonel Miller. Follow me, Artyom. Get ready, Artyom. I'll be waiting at the exit. Move it, you windbag! I knew a smoker once. During the last year of his life, he had to eat, drink, and breathe through a tiny hole in his throat. Привет, Артём. Артём was one of the men who found D6. They gave him a ranger's badge on the spot. Yeah, it's nice for him. I had to spend two years as a cadet before they accepted me into the order. Well, anyway, uh, where were we? And did D6 save them? No. They couldn't reach it in time. They can keep a year. It stood for 30 Three. years until our guys settled it. Like a troll. The inside was untouched. Whip. Look at those two rookies. Pathetic. No wonder the Kona ordered a training time double. And Romano's the only one. Keep your back straight. You're shitting me. Rest of the group, wipe down. The marshes are easy. You just look for the markers and flags and walk along them so you don't drown. A child could do it. Well. Okay, the shrimps always gave you hell, but come on, what could take a whole squad down? No idea. They found Romanovs alone at the church, sitting on the floor praying. Since then, he doesn't eat, doesn't react to people, he just speaks to God. <laughs> but Romanov's not expecting an answer. <laughs> Welcome to the Armory. I hear you are a ranger now, huh? We must get a drink sometime to celebrate. For now, let's get you equipped. So, first things first. You're going to need a gas mask. You can't make a step on the surface without a gas mask. It's been 20 years and the radiation still strong enough in some places to blow water. There are hot spots down here in the metro, too. Don't forget filters for the mask. Sure, it looks cool enough even without these, but they definitely make it better for your health. Now, med kits. Well, what can I say? Anything you need for survival in a stylish orange case. Here's your advanced salary for this month. Remember, your pay is in military-grade rounds. Sure, you can use them as usual ammo for some hefty extra damage, but saving them to buy guns, attachments, Regular ammo and equipment for merchants anywhere in the metro seems like a smarter move. Haha, <laughs> alright. Now to the good stuff, huh? Let's get you some guns. Take the ones you want and try them out on my range. Rangers usually carry up to three weapons, Artyom, and the choice of those is completely up to you. Make 
sure you take a close range weapon with that one. Rifles are good for long range targets, but you don't want to get caught with your pants down or something. You need something like it. If you want to try it, you got it. Here, go. Put on the show for me, huh? Try out the rest of the weapon. It's yours. Weapon down! Target! Dry shooting for the center of the regular dummy jet. Fight about you should better than that. Good job! Now, shooting after you're done. Now that the defense is going to take four bullets. Look for smart. an armor target. Try a headshot. That's a critical hit. Not a Those are the You can keep processing if you want. Or have an briefing. Selection. about Lesnitsky? What are you Let talking about? Check on the guards at the lab. What the hell did he do? Opening up. All right, let's go. The tombs of ancient kings were filled with whatever they might need in the afterlife. Weapons, gold, chariots. They'd sacrifice their wives and slaves to serve their lords even in death. Reminds me of this banker. Cut that shit out! The things in D6 are like what the Conqueror took with him beyond the grave. Gold steel, and wild steeds, and treasures untold. Of course, the Tomb Raiders would always die horribly, killed by demons or ghosts. Or their own greed. Come, will you shut up or what? Hey! I heard that Lesnitsky did something. What happened? Nobody knows. Lesnitsky was at the lab. When the next shift came, the door was open and the lab ransacked. Lesnitsky was gone. Shit! So, what's inside? Chemical weapons, maybe some other shit. 
That's, that's all I heard. God damn it. The Colonel's going to tear me a new one because of Lesnitsky. A red hot poker right into my soul. If I still have one. All right, let's go. We might control these six, but it's like a damn city down here. All the bunkers, the nooks and crannies and exits. Still, they base the order dreamed of finding. Guys just came back from the ring. They say Hansa is strengthening the sentry points along the whole line. Especially the ones close to the Nazis. We just left the brief. Two Nazi assault teams have started the fight with raids somewhere on the surface. Over what? Miller hey, ordered anyone know what the buzz is about? On this base. Why the summons? I hear the Reds are mobilizing. Maybe Hansa too. What's that? People say the Reds are sending their agents into Hansa via neutral stations. Looks like they're onto something. They as well the Nazis Let's hear what he has to say at the assembly. Friend. I have a bad feeling. Remember what Krummer, we take these guys to Miller. They've been summoned. With these treasures. Yes, sir. With these weapons. All right, go on in. I'll wait here. When you've gone, I'll speak to Miller. The bombing of the Dark Ones may have been humanity's worst mistake. What if they meant us no harm, but were trying to communicate? Perhaps the severe pain and loss of consciousness suffered in their presence just meant we were incompatible. Machines with different wire. But somehow you, Artyom, have the common wire. The connection with the Dark Ones. Yes, people died at exhibition. Your home station. Hunter, the best of the Order, is most likely dead as well. And he taught you this. If we don't fight for our lives in this new world, we'll be devoured. It is the law of evolution. But I would argue, the old laws no longer apply. All right, Artyom, and you, God, you have something to report? Yes, Colonel. Let's keep it short, then. I located the surviving Dark One at the gardens. What? One of those things is still alive? Luckily, yes. Luckily? Come, this is... Other madness. The Dark Ones were the greatest threat the Order's ever faced. Colonel, just give me a chance. A single Dark One is no threat. Artyom has a gift. I believe he can establish contact with the creature. Let him come with me. All right. Artyom, go with Khan to the gardens and locate the Dark One. I'll send a sniper along. My best. Anna. Yes, sir. Why would we need a sniper? To eliminate the creature and finish the Order's job! Miller, you can't! It's murder! Restrain him! You idiot! You're making the same mistake that... We're done here. Escort Khan out of here. Artyom! It's your last chance for forgiveness! For getting rid of the nightmares! Ah! Forget about Khan. Looks like he got close. Too close to the creature and lost his mind. Look here, Artyom. Complete the mission and get back here quickly. A war is coming, and I'll need every ranger at his post. On your way. So, what are you waiting for? Come along, rabbit. Artyom, if it's true that the Dark Ones can sense you, maybe you could draw it out from hiding so Anna can have a clear shot. But do me a favor. Don't let the Dark One get into your mind, or Anna will have two targets. Is that understood? We now suspect Lesnitsky was a sleeper agent, but we haven't verified who's running him. Your job is to intercept him before he delivers the stolen container. Understood? Yes, sir. If Lesnitsky escapes with the container, the entire Metro is at risk. So if you can't take him alive, you damn well better bring me his head. Yes, sir. Dismissed.
Don't tell me you believe that bullshit about making peace with the Dark Ones. I wish I had been up in that tower myself to see the missiles fall and watch them burn in their nests. Come on, Rabbit. Would you let those things into the Metro? Let them crawl into our brains so they could use us like animals. Maybe we could mate with them so the children could live on the surface and feed off the radiation. Shit. You don't shake hands with the devil. Please step away from the edge of the platform. Train coming in. Well, we've worn this place out. Let's move.